Hello and welcome to a Halloween prank anything Arduino. Today we are going to make a really quick project, the jumping spider trick. So press the doorbell if you dare. Ah, a spider. So let's see how we can do this really quickly. I first want to credit my son Max who came up with this idea. Uh, he was the one who thought we should do this and uh, this is him trying it out and he was more than happy about the result. So we need parts. First we take the ping sensor from the robot from episode eight, 18. I only have one. And a servo in the servo box and some spiders, some spider web, and of course an Arduino. The code for this project is really quickly put together by going to episode 18 of Anything Arduino, uh, the ping sensor on, the, on our robot, um, where I also took the ping sensor because I only have one. And here we, we just take the things that has to do with the ping sensor so these three lines and in the void loop we have the ping sensor code very well commented out here. So we take this code here and then we take the in the Arduino examples we have something called servo and then we have a knob and a sweep and we take the sweep code and we copy all this code and then we put those two together to the spider drop. Uh, so we include the servo, here's the ping sensor, the uh, constants, the variables, and then we initialize the servo, initial posi position for the servo, in the void loop is set up, we attach the servo on pin 9, so just copied and you attach the servo to pin 9. In the void loop, we have the ping sensor code uh, and it does everything that it did in uh, on the robot. So it sends a ping and it receives a ping. What I did is I added the length, the duration of the ping. If it takes longer for the ping to arrive again, that means so the longer this, the bigger this value is, the longer away the whatever object it's sensing is. Uh, so this means that it is a bit more sensitive. Whatever value you choose, just try it a, a few times and you will get the right value. And instead of doing the thing for the robot here, this here is the code for the stepper motor. So that is just taken from the sweep sketch so it's these here just copied in here and here also in the original sketch it is 15 uh, delay 15 milliseconds both when it goes down and up but we want it to drop so we need want it a really slow or fast uh, down drop so when it goes down it's just a one millisecond delay when it goes up, it's a bit slower at 15, so just normal. We also delay it two and a half seconds, so it keeps dangling down there a bit before it goes up again. And also, we don't use the whole 180 degrees. This is also, you need to set whatever value you need for your specific box and arm and, and servo and stuff like that. Uh, so 60 degrees is what we chose for this one. And on the hardware side we connect the servo, uh, the data pin of the servo to pin 9 and then plus, uh, plus 5 volts and ground. This depends on your servo motor but it usually is red is plus 5 volts, black is ground and white or whatever color is the data line. For the ping sensor we connect plus to plus 5 VCC to plus 5 volts ground to ground and the two the 
send and receive or echo and trig pins. We connect both these pins to pin 7 and those are all the connections that we need. Then take some stick of some kind and somehow connect that to the servo. I used hot glue and a piece of metal wire and then we took some fake uh, spider web to hang the spider from. Then we found a suitable box and that's what you need to hide it in to put it up uh, wherever you want to put it and we made a hole in it and uh, we just took some scrap pieces of uh, styrofoam to uh, hot glue it in place where we wanted the servo and other stuff to be. Yeah. And then a final test, make sure it works as we want. And then we had to tweak it a bit more to so this is where we had it at 60 degrees and we let it stay down for quite a long time. And this is it. Hope you get a fun Halloween and see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye.